we've come to make merit today for ourselves and for the people who passed away. And so let's make sure that our merit is complete. It starts with generosity. I mean, food has been given. Virtue. Make up your mind to take the precepts that you won't harm anyone by killing, stealing, having illicit sex, lying, taking intoxicants. And then there's meditation. Now, the three kinds of merit, the, the merit of meditation is the highest because it focuses on the source of all our good and evil, which is the mind, training the mind so that the, the evil gets put away and all the good qualities can be developed to their fullness. Because the goodness of generosity has to come out of the mind. The goodness of virtue has to come out of the mind. So we have to train the mind as the source of all things good. If we don't train it, then its other tendencies tend to take over. So focus on the breath. Watch the breath coming in going out. Try to develop a quality of mindfulness, i.e. keeping the breath in mind, and alertness. Being very clear about what's happening. How's the breath going? How's the mind going? And then you develop a quality called ardency, which you really try to do this seriously. Try to do it well. You don't just go through the motions. Because through the training of the mind in these three qualities, ardency, alertness, and mindfulness, that our goodness gets established in all areas of life. You want them to be strong, so strengthen them. Each time the mind wanders off, just bring it right back. That's part of the ardency and part of the alertness. You remember to bring it back. That's the mindfulness. These three qualities are important in any job that you do, any task that you do where you try to accomplish something good. So try to make sure that they're strong. And here's an opportunity to do it with something that's right with you all the time. This way, when the mind begins to get settled, it can stay with the breath for long periods of time, there's a sense of well-being that arises. It's not jumping around all the time. And when there's a sense of well-being in the mind, then it's a lot easier to do and say and think the right thing. And the goodness of the mind itself, that's the quality that's called merit. It's both the happiness that makes you want to do more good and the happiness that results from doing good. And that right there is the merit. Merit isn't an entity or a thing that you can spread around. But it is a quality of the mind that you can develop. Once it's, you've developed it, then that can spread around, just like radio waves in the air. The radio station is in one spot, but any place where there's a receiver that's turned on, pick up the waves and know what's being transmitted. In the same way the mind transmits its qualities in ways that many times we can't see. You walk into a room and sometimes just your presence in the room will change the room. You don't see it, the other people don't see it, but everybody senses it. So you want to make sure that you change the presence so that it's something good. And this presence can spread out even further, especially in a concentrated mind. So if you want to dedicate merit to someone who's passed away, this is how you do it. You get the mind centered, you get it focused. Think of all the good the person has done, think of all the good that you've done. And let that become an energy that connects the two, so that you have a, a current of energy that goes and helps that person, wherever he may be, or she may be. So try to develop the merit that's complete in generosity, virtue, concentration, or generosity, virtue, and meditation. Because these are good things that create a happiness that's special. That most of the happiness in the world, the pleasures in the world, are things that one person experiences but other people don't get. Or one group of people gain something and other people get deprived of it. But the happiness that comes from virtue, concentration, and meditation is something that everybody benefits from. The more you develop, the more everybody benefits. That's gain all around. So try to develop the qualities of mind that you can, you'd be happy to send to someone else, that you'd happy to have an influence on them wherever they may go, so that they can pick up that happiness too. That sense of well-being that comes from being good, doing good things. Because that's the happiness that's really solid and lasting.